Let's summarize some of the important plant hormones. The first two are auxin and gibberlin or gibberlin. <laughs> They're both growth hormones. So you know what their main function is? Is in cell elongation, making the cell bigger, elongated, okay? But auxin is mostly useful in tropism. Tropism is where plants turn and grow. For example, in phototropism, the plant will, the shoot will turn towards the light and the roots will turn away from the light. But how does it happen? Auxin is responsible for that. And the way it works is, if you zoom into one of the places, uh, if, if you zoom in over here, what we'll find is that the auxin hormones will move away from the light. So a lot of auxin will get concentrated over here and therefore this part, the part that's away from the light, that will grow more than the part that is towards the light. Now because this part grows more than this one, the whole plant ends up turning towards the light over here. Gibberlin, on the other hand, is mostly useful in the growth of the stem itself. Okay, so these two help in cell elongation, but elongating cells itself is not enough. You also want to create more cells. And that's where the third hormone comes into picture, cytokinin. Cyto stands for cell, kinin means division. So this hormone is mostly useful for cell division. So with these three hormones, we have more cells being formed and we have the cells becoming bigger. So you can see how these are helpful in the growth. But growth is not the only thing that's response that's necessary. Sometimes you want a hormone to stop the growth. And so one such hormone is called abscisic acid. This helps in stopping the growth. But you may ask, why do you need to stop the growth? Here is an example of what abscisic acid can do. Imagine you have a seed that is in a very dry land. There is not much water, it's drought, let's say. Now, if that seed germinates, it doesn't get water and it'll die. So you don't want the seed to germinate. That's where abscisic acid will come into picture. There'll be a lot of abscisic acid over here, which does not allow the seed to germinate. But once it rains, that abscisic acid will get washed away and now there'll be enough water. Because of that, now it can start growing. So you see, it's super important sometimes to also stop the growth. So these are some of the important growth and growth inhibitor hormones.